Edenton is a historic town along the Albemarle Sound. Today, I'm visiting to check it out. Our first stop right behind me is the Penelope Barker House. So this house uh, was the home of Penelope and Thomas Barker, and she was a very strong uh, woman. She used her power, I feel, to do something that was extraordinary, and that was the Edenton Tea Party Resolves, and we believe she was the leader of that. Her leadership of these 51 women and signing this document that was considered treasonous at the time. So these ladies that really had no power otherwise did this extraordinary thing. One thing that was said in that document that I find the most uh, amazing, and we repeat it all the time, it was never be indifferent. After looking around the Penelope Barker house for a bit, I went on a trolley tour of the town. It was about an hour long and gave loads of information on Edenton's history through the historic buildings and landmarks that line the streets. Trolley tours of Edenton have been running for over 20 years. They used to take place on this car back here, but they've recently upgraded to a new one. Once this one was retired, it was picked up by the Herringbone, a restaurant in Edenton that now serves ice cream and beer out of it. After that, I decided to do a little exploring on my own. I looked at the map I got from the Penelope Barker house and picked out a couple of spots that stood out to me from the trolley tour. It was getting to be late afternoon, so a lot of the tours were starting to close for the day, but that didn't stop me from getting as close of a look as I could. I walked around the waterfront for a bit longer to admire the Roanoke River Lighthouse, then headed into town. I drove through downtown Edenton to look at the shops and iconic Taylor Theater. Then, I went to a couple of the neighborhoods where Edenton's founders lived many years ago. If you visit Edenton right now, you'll notice a good amount of construction going on. That's because they're working on restoring some of their older buildings that have been damaged by weather or just age, including the Kadish Church and Iredell House. You know, most everybody knows that it's hard to save a building. It's so much easier to start over. Uh, and build something new, but in this case, they're trying to save the past for the future. Uh, so we really appreciate that in town for, you know, people taking a stand, putting their money where their mouth is, uh, trying to get funding, you know, from other sources, uh, but really fighting to save properties. It's going to be wonderful for the town and for saving our history and highlighting some of our African-American culture and history. Lastly, I made a lap around the old Cotton Mill Village, which is just a street or two over from what is believed to be the oldest house in North Carolina. And this isn't even half of what Edenton has to offer. I, of course, couldn't leave without visiting the Edenton Teapot, especially since the Edenton Tea Party is quickly approaching its 250th anniversary on October 25th. The town of Edenton is celebrating the anniversary on October 25th and 26th this year. Friday the 25th, children will ring the courthouse bell 250 times that morning and a speaker is visiting in the afternoon. Saturday's festivities include a parade, book signing, live music from Grammy-nominated band Sister Sadie, and fireworks. It will be a big party and we wanted something that everybody could get involved in. Here's a fun idea. See if you can find every teapot in Edenton. They're everywhere from murals to garbage trucks. The most famous is probably this one that memorializes the Edenton Tea Party. To find out more about the city or the upcoming anniversary of the Tea Party, you can check out their tourism website or give them a call.